Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. Before we begin, I'd like to let you guys know that there will be no gameplay sound for this particular video. Just me talking away and explaining how to do the deployment strategy. But please stay in the comment below whether you guys prefer this kind of uh, commentating or prefer back the gameplay sound as you'll be greatly appreciated and I'll definitely uh, modify it to your own preference. So with that said, uh, we will talk about the deployment strategy that I want to show you guys. So we will look at one of the raids that I've done. Uh, this particular one uh, on this Town Hall 10 is a date base. So if you look on the top left now, the way I deploy is using uh, four fingers. Then after that on the right side, I deploy another troops. So um, using four fingers deployment is really, really fast, especially with a uh, BAM as you can deploy the troops really really fast to take out more of the structures really quickly so that the defenses do not uh, take out your troops as quick so, example if you were to just drop one barbarian and then just keep dropping one barbarian one barbarian one barbarian the cannons or the archer tower just take it out really really quickly but if you deploy say four barbarians at once the cannons and the archer tower have, need more time to take them all out so as you can see this rate is now at 48% so looking at it, I just dropped my queen, taking out the two more structures and getting us to 50%. So scoring us the one star and uh, getting the loot. So we will proceed on to the next one that I'd like to show you guys. Where I use roughly 30 seconds to get all the loot from this particular base. So as you can see, this is a collector's raid. All the loot are inside the collectors. Uh, deploying my troops in this particular manner. Some of you have been wondering how do I deploy this fast, especially the switching of troops uh, part. So I'll be showing you guys in the next clip that I've prepared for you guys in roughly a few more seconds once this raid is over. So this base, is, as you can see, is a lot of loot, store roughly around 600,000 in total resources. So uh, it's trying to get the 50% looking at uh, it wasn't uh, too bad. Um, I decided to steal more of the loot on the right side, focusing uh, on the right side, using my queen to take out the collectors and getting us the win. Now let's take a look at how the deployment is done physically. I'm playing on my iPad Air with 3, 2, 1, we will go for it. Using my right hand, 4 fingers, and then my left hand, my left thumb, uh, changing the troops as I deploy, not lifting up any of my 4 fingers as I change my troops. Another thing to note, when you deploy your troops, do not just press down and straight away slide. You have to press down and then once your troops start to deploy, then you start to slide. Otherwise, your screen will start to move about and then you have problems deploying your troops. So as you can see, uh, deploy it really, really well for this particular clip. And hope you guys can learn something as to how to deploy this uh, particular manner as to deploy it really, really fast. And this raid is just uh, practically over with this Town Hall 9 uh, being uh, farmed. So as you can see, got a 52% ending the raid right now. Another thing to note is when you deploy your troops, do not deploy all at one particular spot or one area. You have to spread your troops out uh, separately so that they take out the base with a 50%. Otherwise, you'll be all focused at one particular point. You have not enough troops for the rest of the other areas. So as you can see, I spread my troops out uh, properly. Some on the top left, some on the top right. And even the bottom, I also have cleared up a bit. Usually, when you deploy your troops, don't have to be too specific as to like, if you've got 80 archers, for example, don't have to be like 20 archers on the top right, 20, 20 on the on each areas or whatsoever but you could deploy a bit more on uh, one side a bit more but not everything and then maybe the part where you didn't uh, deploy enough you can drop your CC or if you have your heroes you can still use them at, the, at that particular areas the best is to have CC ready for you to use so now let's take a look at how zooming in or out of your screen will affect your deployment. So as you can see on this base, the town hall is outside. So if we just spread normally with our screen zoomed out, this is what will happen. But if we were to zoom in all the way and we were to just deploy at the same uh, manner, it will just focus the troops at one particular spot. So your troops will be all focused at one spot if you were to zoom in closer. And if you zoom out, it will all be spread out. So that's something to take note of also. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys will say that you guys clash on a smaller device and it's rather impossible to do the deployment strategy that I'm showing. But this is how to do it. Instead of using four fingers, you could use three. And doing the same uh, deployment style, you can still deploy it. It's still doable. But it just requires more skills and more practice to do it. Uh, practice is definitely important as it will let you have uh, the ability to do it. So it just requires uh, more of the fingers to be tightened up, to be more close together to get the uh, troops to be deployed in that particular manner so as you can see this rate I've deployed everything properly just looking at how it goes um, the resources is very high for this particular base uh, playing on my phone is something that I'm really really used to because when I started playing Clash I was playing on my iPhone 4 uh, not having any iPad to play on or whatsoever 
So technically speaking, I'm really really used to playing on a small screen. So with just practice and practice and practice, you guys can definitely do it too. So with this said, this raid is technically over with uh, all the loot and a 2 star. Hopefully some of you guys have learned something from this tutorial and have a clearer understanding of how I deploy my troops. And also you guys can do the same and hopefully you guys will practice long enough to get a hang of it as it will definitely improve your farming rates and also increase your success rate of getting the resources that you want. But uh, don't forget to look at my next video where I'll be talking more about trophies and leaks as to what kind of trophies and leaks you have to be at a certain level, town hall level to be more specific, to get good loots. And also don't forget to stay in the comment below to let me know whether you guys like the video with or without the gameplay sound. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.